So let's go into probably one of the biggest subjects in nursing school, nephrosis, aka nephrotic syndrome. This is our number six. Now next we're going to be talking about acute glomerular nephritis. Two totally separate things and I'm going to break it down really simple in terms of the toy that you used to use when you were a kid called Nerf balls. If you guys don't know what a Nerf uh, toy is, it's like these little guns and you like shoot like little Nerf things like American Gladiators. If you're watching this video in Australia or New Zealand or something um, and you guys don't know what American Gladiators are, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> but uh, you guys can Google it. Google Nerf and you'll see what I mean. So I think of nephrosis or nephronic syndrome as Nerf balls because the kidney becomes very inflamed and the glomerular become, glomeruli become very um, permeable. And these big nerf balls of protein go through the glomerular, glomeruli and go into the uh, urine. So one of the biggest things we check is protein. And that is going to be huge for your next test. So let's go into the pathophys, exactly what's going on in your body, and break it all down here. So here's real quick and simple, a smiley face for your good kidneys. You have your nephro, or your uh, nephro units. Inside the nephro, you have the, uh, the nephron, you have the uh, glomeruli. And those little glomeruli are supposed to filter your H, U, C, hydrogen ions, urea, and creatinine, just a byproduct of protein. And that's what's supposed to happen. And we're supposed to keep our water, let go of, of, of uh, the, um, of the uh, waste in urine, and uh, filter our blood. In our inflamed kidney here, inflamed kidney, your glomeruli have become a tight mesh of almost like a coffee filter to a big, huge, permeable, basically, almost like a uh, chain link fence and you can push things through it. So this is why we leak a lot of protein and we leak a lot of albumin, which is your blood protein, and we leak it into our urine. So that is the hugest thing. If you take anything away from this lecture, protein in the urine, high protein in the urine, is the biggest indicator of nephrosis. It doesn't mean that all protein in the urine is nephrosis or nephrotic syndrome. That's just one of the big indicators. So what is nephrotic syndrome? The pathophysiology behind it is that it's an autoimmune disorder. Basically meaning, fancy words for, your body is attacking itself. Um, it's basically a uh, genetical thing. Your body, we don't know why it's idiopathic. Your body will attack its own uh, glomeruli and make it um, more inflamed and more permeable. So let's talk, for, for instance, uh, like lupus or like uh, a bunch of other neuro, like um, Parkinson's, your body attacks itself for no good reason. This is just in your kidneys. So your body's attacking itself and usually it comes with exacerbations and remissions. Now I call it the three S's. If you have sepsis, stress, or any type of either, well at least with lupus, either sun exposure or smoking, just basically think of stress and sepsis or basically infection, that can predispose you to have a flare-up or an exacerbation. So glomeruli are inflamed, very permeable, and as we said before, we have increased protein, increased albumin, these big nerf balls that are going through our glomerular chain link fence and ending up in our urine. On the other side of that, we have edema. Remember, your kidneys are supposed to filter your blood, let out urine. If we have very permeable a membrane, we're not going to be able to filter enough fluid. So we're going to be able to retain more fluid. Your patient's going to have fluid retention, have edema, just basically puffiness from fluid retention, could even have high blood pressure or hypertension. And that is one of uh, the uh, big risk factors for your patient in uh, nephrotic syndrome. So what are we going to do? How are we going to combat this? How are we going to 
deflame this, these uh, glomeruli, and how are we going to get the fluid out of the body, into the body? So the few things we can do, we can use medication, right? And we can use patient education. And you, the nurse, are going to study your medication, right? All right, right? Right. Okay, so for your uh, steroids, the biggest steroid that we use is um, prednisone. Prednisone helps to bring down the inflammation systemically. So it's not perfectly targeting our glomerular unit, but we're bringing the inflammation down. Now, when we say steroids, we're not talking about juicing it up, you know, with Jose Canseco or uh, Mark McGuire, okay? We're talking about steroids, natural steroids that your body makes in the adrenal cortex. So prednisone is one of those steroids that brings down the inflammation through a pill, and we take it for medic medications. Um, you have other steroids. This one is a glucocorticoid steroid. So your patient is more predisposed to infections, uh, more predisposed to edema. And I know, I know, you're already thinking, your patient has edema, but we're going to talk about that, how to get rid of that next medication here. But I have an uh, entire lecture on prednisone itself and how it increases your blood sugars and why it does that. I just don't have enough time right now to do that. So we've combated the inflame, inflammation of the glomeruli. Next is, what do we do about the edema in the body? Well, we can give a diuretic. That's correct. We can give a diuretic. How many diuretics do we have to choose from? We have four different diuretics out there. We have an osmotic diuretic. We have a potassium sparing diuretic. We have a loop diuretic. Or we have a thiazide diuretic. And you're thinking at nursing school, oh my gosh, like which one do I choose? I don't know what's going on. I'm scared. I want to go home. And <laughs> it's okay. Just relax. I mapped out all the diuretics for you guys already in separate videos. Potassium sparing, L-dactone, spironolactone spares your potassium. Because when we take diuretics, we have low, we have a possibility of getting low potassium because your body excretes electrolytes in the urine. We give our patients thiazides with our nephrosis, or nephrotic syndrome. And thiazides act on those descending loops of Henle, fancy words for the tubes in our kidneys. And we use the thiazides because it's not as potassium wasting as our loop diuretics, like our Lasix or our furosemide. It's not an osmotic diuretic in terms of um, bringing down the osmolarity or the pressure inside your bloodstream. And it's not a potassium sparing like spironolactone or aldactone because we don't really want to spare potassium. It's not really an indication. So we'll use a thiazide like hydrochlorothiazide. So those are the indications. To wrap it all up again, glomerular inflammation is the main uh, problem here. How are we going to combat this glomerular inflammation? Steroids. What is the biggest indication? Protein, 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 nerve balls, very permeable glomerular membranes. So if you guys remember that, you'll be great for your next test. So let's go into glomerular nephritis next.